Welcome back to AP World History. Uh, this is Chapter 1, Part 2, and we'll be taking a look at some of the early civilizations. Uh, one of the first civilizations we'll take a look at is Mesopotamia, literally meaning land between two rivers. And this is located in the two rivers that are in question are the Tigris and Euphrates. Uh, this Mesopotamia is also called as the Fertile, fertile Crescent, uh, it seems to be a very strategic place in uh, the globe, and a lot of history exists there. This is a, another slide of the Fertile Crescent, which takes in what now is modern-day Israel, all most of Iraq, uh, Syria, and Lebanon, sometimes called the Cradle of Civilization. Uh, Samaritans were the f folks inhabiting this area. Um, they were polytheistic, that is, they worshipped many gods. Gilgamesh, meaning one of their main gods that they worshipped. Uh, Mesopotamia was involved in trade with other folks in the area, in Afghan, what now is Afghanistan and, uh, and Egypt, and what we now modern-day Greece. Mesopotamia had a elaborate uh, system of art and uh, advanced forms of art and metallurgy, um, very decorative. They uh, seemed to be a, a civilization that didn't copy anyone else. They were sort of the originators of a lot of the ideas that, from wheels to other instruments that are going to be exported to other places. Hammurabi is, a, is an important person uh, in this area because he comes up with a code of law. Uh, this code um, <coughs> spelled out property rights, duties of family members, punishments for crimes, uh, was to protect the weak from the strong, although it was skewed towards the rich and the, the powerful. Hammurabi the judge. Uh, the Babylonians were interested in math and numbers. Uh, switching from the Mesopotamia, going to Egypt, we can see a view of uh, what is the Nile and the Delta there. The Nile people uh, located uh, their villages along the Nile, their civilization there, and they used the river as a means of agriculture. One of the things we'll also see from these three or four different uh, civilizations is that they use water. Water is a very important and they use that for irrigation. Uh, the Nile uh, would annually flood and replenish nourishment onto the, the, into the soil, and they would irrigate from the Nile. Yeah, a little bit of history of the Egyptians uh, up through uh, the Roman period. Um, certainly there was stratification in the society. People performing different tasks, uh, had a social structure. Uh, much of the art depicted what they did normally during the day. Uh, they were consumers of beer and wine. Um, that was an important part of their diet. This shows the hierarchy in an Egyptian society from the pharaoh down to the laborers at the bottom. Some famous uh, pharaohs, um, Ramsey II, uh, probably one of the most famous of the pharaohs. Uh, Egyptian nobility um, sp spent a lot of in resources for temples, uh, for tombs, um, and mummification. Uh, they were interested in the afterlife. Uh, the priesthood class uh, was there to help them, the rich and the famous, get to where they were going. Hieroglyphics was formed to record uh, information and history. Uh, they had an extensive alphabet and uh, over 700 phonetic symbols for sounds uh, carved on two walls. Uh, mummification. Um, just some of the stuff that they used to mummify uh, important people um, and then placed in sarcophagus and buried 
in tombs, uh, some of which have been excavated, some robbed by over the centuries. So they were interested in that. Giza, the, the pyramids there, some of the most well-known pyramids in the world. Uh, and all this was done without mechanization, without equipment. Uh, it was all hand. Um, another area that we don't know too much about is the Indus River area, which is in modern-day Pakistan. Uh, Harappa was a city that they have excavated in Dharmo. Um, both uh, ceased to exist. Some natural ca calamity, they suspect, came through and wiped them out. Uh, they did have a written language, but no one has been able to decipher what that language was. But uh, very little uh, known about them. This shows you a picture of the Indus River, which is, takes in uh, parts of India and most of uh, uh, Pakistan. This shows you another picture of it. Uh, the last civilization, which we will talk about in Chapter 2 a little more extensively, uh, is the Yellow River, or the Wang He region, uh, region of China. Uh, <coughs> they suspect that this is where uh, civilization developed there in Asia. Uh, and they did have trade with India and other places. Um, again, near a river, uh, and they use that for irrigation. They don't have a lot of buildings from that area, that era, uh, mainly because they didn't have uh, the construction material to do so. This shows uh, a picture of the Huang He uh, area, or Yellow River area. Uh, the Shang and the Zhou era, eras will, uh, of dynasties will develop in this area here. And that shows you another picture of this area. And we will talk about that more extensively in Chapter 2.